Okay, so I gotta slug the bore of my Mose in here. Not real sure what it what it is. It's a pretty simple process. What I have here is a 311 round ball that I had put on the vise. Just gave it a little tap with the hammer. And it is now it's about 34 caliber. I didn't have to make it that big, but whatever. Um, this rifle has been counterboard down a couple of inches. They'll do that on older military rifles because rifle barrels corrode from both ends. If you've got one that's counterboard, it's a good chance that your throat is also quite badly worn. The good thing about counterboard when you're slugging is that they've already removed the bad part, so you only really have to get that in there a couple inches. Opposed to if you don't know if it's eroded, then you want to shove it down there about six inches. So first thing I'm going to do is lube this thing up. I got some 45 45 10 lube here that I'm going to stick on the bullet. These are quarter inch dowels. Now this is a bit tricky. Okay, it landed right. Okay, yeah, so if, if you're not using a perfectly round ball, you got to make sure the flats are up and down. These rods, you want to make sure you get hardwood rods. I made a mistake. I bought these at the dollar store. Two bucks. It said wooden dowels. They're pretty flimsy. Uh, so, just to get it squared up and started, I'm going to give this a little tap. But I'm going to make sure I don't go down much more than about halfway. You'll feel it as soon as it starts cutting in. And now we'll just drive her down with the regular dowel here. Alright, that's down there a couple of inches. That'll be lots. Now, the next part, you just want to set this down on the floor and I've got it setting on a piece of wood here so you want to make sure that when you do this you're not setting on something that's going to damage your muzzle. Now this is where these little short dowels come in. Just start dropping these down the barrel until you get something you can tap on. And I'm going to set that on my toe so you can get it in the camera. And you just tap it back out. Simple as that. Make sure you get all the dowels out of your barrel. You don't want to miss end up leaving one of those in there by mistake. So, save those for the next project. And here's what I got out of that. Now, There, that'll usually separate. So you can see there's a little ring. That little ring got sheared off because it's counterboard. So that's trash. And this is what we're looking for. And I apologize, this camera doesn't like to focus very much. And it is extremely hard on batteries, AA batteries. So I'm going to replace it. I take your calibers. And this is four groove rifling. There's two important measurements here. You want to know what the lands and the grooves are. So 
you want to find your high point and your low point and it looks like My low point is 312, or 302, I mean. And high point is 314. And all you do to get that is just on a four groove, just rock the bullet back and forth until you find the narrowest. Thing. And your two sets of lands and grooves may not be the same. So here's one set of, of lands that's just over 302. Turn it 90 degrees and it's 303. And then we'll check one of our grooves. Right there. That's 314. Every bit of it. Yep. So I got 302, 303 bore, and 314 groove. So that is fairly big. That explains why I didn't like those bullets the other day. So I guess the next thing for this rifle is. A 316 diameter bullet. Um, I've also got to slug my other 303, the one with synthetic stock. I haven't slugged that yet. But I think a 316 size to 314 should be a should be an effective bullet. Or uh, sorry, a 316 size to 315 might be an effective bullet. I may have to leave it 316. We'll see, but I know where to go now. Uh, I know why I wasn't getting great accuracy with cast out of it. So, anyway, I hope this video helps somebody out. Uh, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, leave them down the bottom. As always, I'll try my best to get back to you. If I don't get back to you, remind me because I've forgotten or Google has screwed around and not sent me the notification. Thanks a lot, guys.